Warren Buffett, uh, he's starting to nibble here a little bit, still sitting on about 137 billion, but he's made a few, you know, a few things here and there. Do you think he's lost a, a little bit here? Because we heard that in 1998, 1999, 2000, that the market had moved past Warren Buffett. Of course, when the market crashed, he was sitting pretty. In 2009, when the market crashed, he was sitting pretty. So is this just Warren Buffett being Warren Buffett or has, have things changed so dramatically? I think we're going to see another repeat here, Charles, from one pain to another. And I, what I think is interesting <laughs> right now is what is he buying right now, right? He's buying the natural gas assets from Dominion. He's buying more shares of Bank of America. He's not buying more tech. He bought tech, you know, four years ago. He bought Apple when it was cheap. But right now he's buying good old-fashioned value stocks. Meanwhile, you look at like an app like Robinhood, you've got all these millennial investors believing that FANG stocks are the best place to be for the next five years. I don't know about you, but if I'm going to bet on Warren Buffett or new millennial investors with those checks from the government, I'm going with Warren Buffett. <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> it was cold, man. man. you dissing cold. these boys bad. Oh, <laughs> all right. Listen, earnings results, economic trends, they all have been pretty good. I think they at least uh, add to the argument for owning stocks that reflect Main Street growth, right? I mean, they call them cyclical stocks. Let's talk about next week, uh, Ryan. Where do you see this market going? Because you've been really bullish and you've been winning. I have been winning. I'm glad you brought that up, Charles. Um, I think the big move here is, look, I mean, from every metric, big growth, big tech is somewhat overvalued here. Come on, Amazon at over 100 times earnings. It's a good stock. Right. But when you look at the amount of capitalization those stocks have created over the last. So I where's mean, the market going? Week, what are you doing? I think cyclicals, Charles. I think what you're starting to see is you saw a peak All in right. coronavirus cases. You saw a peak in coronavirus cases back in July, July 27th. We, They're coming down. We've got to leave it there. 